Ladies and gentlemen, if you were to tell somebody that, well, the Durham Probe Special Counsel released a filing, a, the latest filing stating that Michael Sussman and tech executive wanted a bunch of, bunch of researchers fabricated user data or, or completely, completely, simply um, made up allegations against Trump user-created data that, according now to Fox News, because it's all over the place, was not technically uh, plausible, most of the time, if you were to tell somebody that, they would say, what are you talking about? What is what is this? If you were to tell a wonderful, highly educated liberal Democrat who who's always morally superior and who thinks Trump is... You know, you know, undermining democracy even today as as President Mashed Potato Brains presides over a terrible, terrible geopolitical nightmare. Inflation through the roof, skyrocketing inflation. We're heading into a recession. We now have Hunter's emails that show the whole world. Joe was lying as usual. If you were to tell... If you were to explain the latest filing, the Durham Probe Special Counsel, to this wonderful liberal Democrat, they would say, well, I don't know what you're talking about, and you know what? Trump is worse. Trump is worse. They won't understand that social media algorithms like Twitter, for example, had to silence and suppress and erase from history for a moment Hunter's actual legitimate emails showing that he gives half of his salary for decades to Pop, not Corn Pop. He's referring to Joe. And, um, you know, statements from, you know, billionaires or corporations that, that were paying him simply because of his last name. How can you use your influence on behalf of the company? Okay, these are clear violations of the law. How can you use your influence on behalf of the company? Knowing that if they did business with Hunter, they would be less likely to be investigated. At least, at the very least, less likely to be investigated. At worst, given preferential treatment. And we we see that people who donate to the foundation or do business with Hunter, they're hooked up. A prosecutor was forced out, and of course, it was because that prosecutor in a sovereign country just, gee, wasn't doing his job, you know, had nothing to do with Hunter being on the board of directors, and his father being the point person for that country now being invaded under these, this president's tenure. It, that What a coinkydink. Anyway, if you were to say that, they, if you were to tell somebody this, they would say, no way, what are you talking about? You know, Trump is worse, but Trump doesn't have emails pointing to corruption. They had his tax returns. Now, they can't find anything. You could easily indict Hunter. The federal government now has been investigating Hunter even during the time they impeached Trump for allegedly asking another country to investigate Joe and Hunter, which, of course, he didn't, because there's no evidence he ever did, except that a couple really very respected people said he did. Other than that, no direct evidence at all. What am I getting to? Durham says Central Intelligence Agency found data alleging Trump-Russia connection not technically plausible was user-created. They didn't have anything on Trump. They literally had to fabricate. That's what the whole point, if you lasted this long. That's my point. They had to purchase a dossier completely made up and fabricated. These are the same people who have the tagline in the Washington Post, democracy perishes in darkness. Well, if that's the case, democracy has already perished because people within media, intelligence operatives, Political operatives, or I should say loyalists within the United States government, people who are being indicted right now, Kevin Kleinsmith, I'm not making anything up, the first indictment in the Durham Probe Special Counsel, they set up and framed Trump, Igor Danchenko, Michael Sussman, these are political operatives 
who spread and disseminated lies and deceitful statements and absurd fantasies into the United States government, got the government to investigate Trump, and we're finding out the in, in this case, in addition to the Steele dossier, everything was made up and fabricated. Durham says he will seek immunity for a Fusion GPS employee during the trial of Clinton campaign lawyer Michael Sussman. Very interesting. Special counsel John Durham asserted in a court filing Friday that the Central Intelligence Agency concluded data from Clinton campaign lawyer Michael Sussman alleging coordinated coordination between Donald Trump and Russia was not technically plausible and user-created. So we talked about this, the court filing. Definitely subscribe to Technofog on uh, his Substack. I'm not on Twitter, Facebook. I don't like Twitter at all, but every once in a while you get some pretty awesome uh, profiles, and Technofog is a great profile. Uh, well, it's his Substack. You should really subscribe to his sub, uh, Substack. And every court filing, he uh, basically... Every single court filing out there, he'll talk about. He's an attorney. Um, he'll talk about it and discuss it and address it in a substack. Now, the unverified <clears throat> the unverified dossier was authored by British X. Okay, so by the way, hit subscribe to this channel right now. We're almost at two hundred thousand subs, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely hit subscribe. I have two other new channels below. I'll get started or continue working on them. One is a satirical and comedic channel. Uh, it's indict. And Imprison45, <laughs> you'll love that channel. I will get started on that soon. Read my article in The Federalist predicting this in, this terrible economic situation we're experiencing now, both in this country and around the world. Unfortunately, we will see a, a devastating stock market crash, and I wrote about that in The Federalist. The, the Unverified Dossier was authored by Christopher Steele and commissioned by opposition research firm Fusion GPS, the law firm... Uh, Sussman's law firm is the firm that the Democratic National Committee and Clinton campaign funded the anti-Trump dossier through. Durham states that after their meeting, personnel from U.S. investigative firm, which Fox previously reported as Fusion GPS, tasked Steele to research and produce intelligence about Alpha Bank, which he did. So it wasn't just, I mean, this Alpha Bank story, it had everything the Democrats wanted, a server you know, nefarious server communications to take the uh, focus away from Madam Secretary's top secret intelligence on private servers running without any benefit of the United States government security system, uh, just top secret special access program intelligence on servers running outside of the United States government by Clinton. Now, if you told a liberal Democrat this, they would say, well, what are you talking about? Trump did worse. Everything is Trump did worse, but the reality is Trump didn't do worse. <laughs> the reality is most of the things, almost everything that people believe about Trump is false, fabricated, sensationalized, hyperbole, or somewhat true, but not doesn't nearly paint the picture they want to be painted. The worst they could say about Trump is he's, he insults people, but people insult him. So it's like the worst they can talk, they can say. Oh, well, he was installed by another country. Well, no, he wasn't. We, we're finding out, we already know, we're finding out now that these people not only fabricated the Steele dossier, but also the Alpha Bank nonsense. They, they're not indicting this man for anything, which is why the satirical channel you will love. Hit subscribe to that one. That's below in the pinned comment and this channel also. In the filing, Durham also points to notes from a for former FBI assistant director that state, among other things, that the dossier author was hired by Fusion GPS to dig up dirt on Trump for an unnamed U.S. client. So they know now, and we'll do another segment on this, which is probably one of the most amazing things. If Comey lied, because he under oath he stated that, well, he didn't know the, the dossier was purchased by Clinton, if they all knew this, you'll have many people, including James Comey, indicted for perjury. In the filing, Durham also points to... I'll do a segment on this right after this one. But in the filing, Durham also points to notes from a former FBI assistant director. So at least uh, McCabe knew. And, and Comey knew also. But McCabe also testified that he didn't know the origins of the Steele dossier, which everyone, they all did. Um... This is very interesting. So they just had to make up. They just had to literally just make up everything. If if you look at 
if if you look at what they did to President Trump, it's just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable that the man, they had nothing. They just had nothing. They had nothing on Trump. So what did they do? They hired people. They hired people to go ahead and fabricate things. Meanwhile, Sussman's defense team has made a motion to give immunity to Tech Executive One. Why would you want to give immunity to Tech Executive One? He might have committed crimes. That's what happens when you're digging up nonsense and dirt. They always, they, they, Democrats always complain about others get, digging up dirt on them. It's actually the truth. If you told the truth about Democratic politicians, to them it's the equivalent of making things up about Trump and others. But Tech Executive One, tech, the researchers, all of these people were hired to create. Durham said the decision not to, give, not to grant Tech Executive One was entirely reasonable, consistent. Of course it was. Durham, though, revealed that the only witness for Sussman's trial that immunized by the government was Researcher Two, whose identity is unknown. That individual's immunity um, began July 20. 20- 21, over a month before Sussman's indictment, Durham said the government immunized Researcher 2 because at least five other witnesses who conducted work uh, invoked their right to self incriminate uh, plead the fifth. Okay, so... <laughs> they should have... They should have... Um... So now all of those people could be indicted also, possibly. The government therefore pursued Researchers 2 immunity in order to uncover otherwise un- unavailable facts underlying the opposition. Uh, research and uh, that tech executive one others carried out in the filing though durham also revealed the government intends to seek immunity at trial for an individual who was employed at a u.s investigative firm fusion gps but unlike tech executive one the individual is considered a witness and not a subject of the government's investigation based on current facts so fusion gps in addition in addition set up and framed um uh, trump not only the dossier but also alpha bank i mean this is just unbelievable Give me your thoughts below. The article will be below in the, in, the, in, the, in the description. Hit subscribe right now. I will talk about the fact that the Bureau, people in the Bureau and other places, uh, agencies, knew the Steele dossier was nonsense. They also knew the Alpha Bank story was nonsense. That leads to perjury. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. They set up and frame Trump. It's not rocket science. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe.